Have you found yourself reusing the same look over and over between videos and you keep redoing everything from scratch? In this video, I'm going to show you how to maintain the same visual look between all of your different videos with power grades and LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. This is part of my time saving hacks for video editing in DaVinci Resolve. I'm here to help you get productive. So let's get into this. Before we do, consider subscribing. I help out creative entrepreneurs. So tap that button and now let's get into this. So I used to redo all of my colors with every single video that I would make. If you're repeating the same steps over and over and over again, it gets really boring. I don't like to be bored. I'm sure you don't either. So yeah, don't be bored people. Let's take my latest video, my thumbnail batching video. Okay, cool. So for this, what I ended up doing was creating groups. So I have my pre-clip group settings. I have my clip, which I didn't do anything on. And then I have my post clip and my post clip is almost always going to be the same. So if you're just grading a clip that's not within a group, then you only have to do this once. But in this instance, because I have a pre and I have a post, I'm going to end up doing this multiple times. What you can do is right click on here, click grab still. Okay, that is for posts. So I'm just going to say example in this case, just so I can tell what the differences are. And then I'm going to do one more for my pre. All right, because I have a particular look that's that I'm going for. So again, we're going to go in here, click grab still. And this one's pre. So I'm just going to name this example as well. If you don't have your gallery open, you want to make sure that you open that. And then if you don't have the side panel here, we want to make sure that you do click on it. So that way you have your options listed right here in stills. This isn't going to transfer to other projects, just like power bins. As soon as you select both of these and you drag them into power grade, it's going to be here and it's going to be available no matter what project that you're working on. What you can do is open up your project manager and I'm just going to open up test in this example. And then I'm just going to go to my timeline and drag in some random footage that I have. So we're going to use this footage that's right here. I'm just going to pick a shot. Let's just pick this shot open this up for a second. It looks kind of flat. What I can do ahead of time is do my pre-grade. Okay, so already it looks a little good. Because this isn't a group clip, I'm going to select my last node and then I'm just gonna double click on post and apply that as well. I wanna keep things organized, so. There are a couple of adjustments that I need to make. I'm just gonna open up my scopes down here. So my blacks are almost crushing. I need to bring these up. So I'm going to bring up my lift and I can also see that it's not really balanced. So I'm going to adjust that as well. That's a little bit better. Overall, I'd say that looks pretty good. So this is before and this is after huge difference. And I was just able to copy that over. Now, this is great if you're working within the same database, but if you're working in a different database or you want to access this on a different computer, or maybe this is a look that you want to pass off to other people and maybe you want to sell it, right? So all you have to do is open up your clips, right click on the clip and click generate 3D LUT. Once you let go, you're going to pick a location to save it. I am going to go in here and go to training and I'm just going to name dark shadow. Okay. If I go to my LUTs training, you can see it's right here and I can use it in any video that I create. Okay, cool. So what if you want to install third party LUTs or you want to find where you save that LUT and you want to pass it off? Like I said, go into your project settings, go to color management and scroll all the way down where it says open LUT folder. This will also work if you are trying to install LUTs. You want to open DaVinci Resolve and you want to go to open LUT folder. It's the easiest way to find where the LUTs are saved because like seriously, this is complicated. I'm not going to remember where this is. Going into this where training was and boom, dark shadow. Now all I have to do is copy this, throw it into a zip file, upload it online or do whatever with it and other people can use it in theirs or I can use it on a different computer or what have you. Now, if you did just install a LUT by dragging it into the folder by hitting open LUT folder to use that LUT immediately, either A, close DaVinci Resolve, but you know, ain't nobody got time for that. You don't, yeah. All you have to do is go back to this window, hit update lists and boom, it's going to update all of your lists and the database is going to do a little search. 
As you can see, it takes a little bit of time for it to update, but once it's updated, you're all set, you click save, you're done. Now the cool thing is, Installing LUTs is going to be global, so you can switch databases and you're still going to have access to those LUTs. All you do is go into your color folder, you go to your LUTs here, and you find your LUT. There it is. Boom. You apply it, and you're good to go. A lot of people think that by applying a power grade or a LUT that that's all that they have to do. If you apply it and you don't make those corrections, it could completely ruin the video and the look that you're trying to go for. So make some adjustments and such because even though you're using a LUT, lighting conditions change and you're gonna wanna adapt to those lighting changes. For example, when I wear an orange shirt, it completely throws all of the colors off and I look like a freaking Oompa Loompa like I've said in my previous videos. Like. Nobody likes Oompa Loompas, they're annoying, they sing stupid songs, and they're just, they're Smurfs with green hair and orange skin, so I guess they're not Smurfs at all. So are you using power grades or LUTs? Let me know down in the comments below. Did you know how to create your own LUTs before? Of course, I want to know about that too. Smash that like button if you got value out of this. If you did, share this with a friend. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell while you're at it so that way you get notified when I come out with my next video. And until next time, I'll catch you later.